you're talking about in your in your course up in Cairns um, about writing travel um, narrative, narr- so narrative, you know, not just the factual stuff, the stuff that has, you know, that personal element as part of it. And I was wondering if you could give us your, uh, I suppose, top tips for writing and absorbing travel narrative. Okay, so I think the key to a good travel narrative is to have a sympathetic central character. So um, in a way, it's interesting when you're writing a travel memoir or a travel narrative, you are a central character and you are the main character. You are who you are and it's completely factual. But you are also a character in a sense, in the same way that a character is in a fiction book. Um, So you... Um, need to be able to display the qualities of yourself uh, and give some insight for the readers as to what you're going through and how you're feeling um, and how those that destination is affecting you. So definitely one tip I'd say is to let yourself shine through, to actually give the readers a little bit of yourself, um, even if it's a bit uncomfortable sometimes. I know I find it hard writing about myself, but it, it really makes your book richer. The other thing is to have, you know, some facts and and some interesting information sprinkled through your narrative. So make it not like a travel guidebook, but make sure there's some interesting facts about the destination in there for your readers to enjoy. So they get a deeper understanding of the destination through your eyes when you're writing. And last but certainly not least, I'd actually say try to use a little bit of humour if you can, Um, even if it's a quite a serious quest or journey. Try to put little bits of humour in there to make it uh, to make it interesting to keep people engaged. The one thing I always wonder about travel is because you know it's it's about place a lot of the time. It's about you as a central character and and place. And I was just wondering if you could perhaps give maybe um, some some tips or like a, maybe a short exercise someone could do about how they could help help them capture the essence of a place. Well, there's a really great exercise you can do that if you um, think about somewhere you know well. So you know, maybe not your hometown, but somewhere you've been, um, and use the five senses to describe that. So bringing the five senses into your into your work and into your writing will add a great deal of depth. A lot of the time we focus when it comes to the five senses on what we can see, so on sight. But, you know, the the smells as well, what we're, um, what we're feeling, um, you know, what we're touching, how we feel, to write a descriptive piece of about 300 words using the five senses to describe what it is that you're seeing or a particular destination. That can be a great exercise and to challenge yourself to actually include all five, if you can, in that piece of description. You'll see the richness it can bring to your writing. 